Here is application problem on domain range. The question before us is explain how the transformation 2 f of 4x minus 2 minus 3 will affect the domain and range of the function y equals to square root x. Okay. Now first, what is y equals to square root x and what it what is its domain and range? So let's try to sketch it and understand what this function is. So make a rough sketch and that is square root x, correct? So we see that the domain and range for this function is that x is greater than or equal to 0 and y is also greater than or equal to 0. So that's the domain and range of our function which is square root x. Is it okay? So it's kind of a rough sketch to really see and understand the problem. Okay. Now what we are given here is a function transformation. So function transformation we should actually write this in a simpler form. The form which we are more conversant with. We need to factor out this 4, right? So we get 4 here and then we get x minus 2 divided by 4 is half, correct? And then minus 3. Now that is the transformation applied. Now if domain range is this, these vertical stretches and compressions really don't affect our domain range because when you multiply 0 by 2, it becomes 0, right? If you multiply 4 or 1 over 4 by 0, it remains 0. So what really is affecting your domain range here is these translations, correct? This horizontal translation of half unit to the right, okay? And then a vertical translation of 3 units downwards. So basically what is happening here is that the function moves. Yes, of course it gets compressed and uh, stretched, I mean, but that really doesn't affect domain and range. So what really affects domain and range is horizontal and vertical translations for this function, right? So here you're moving half unit here and three units down. So basically your function kind of goes like this, right? Now, so it is this point onwards, correct? So what happens really is that x is now change from greater than zero to greater than half because it moves half unit to the right and on this side it went down by minus three units so that's how our domain and range changed now to appreciate it what we can do is that we can see how the points get transformed so in this function if our original points are x and y then they get transformed to x points really get divided by 4 and added by half. So it becomes 1 over 4x plus half, right? That happens to the x points. And for the y points, we, they get multiplied by 2. We get 2y minus 3, correct? So 0, 0, and there's no reflection, right? So the function is moving upwards. So as x approaches infinity, y approaches infinity, correct? So it is on the right side of your kind of vertex, okay? Now, so 0, 0 was our original point. So if I write, well, if I write 0, 0 here, then how will my 0, 0 get transformed? So 0, 0 gets really transformed to 0 times 1 over 4 is 0 plus half gives me half, and this gives me minus 3. So this is what I got here, right? So therefore, the transformation here is only that this comes here and gets vertically stretched and 1 over 4 horizontally compressed is also kind of more stretch. So it goes steeper but domain and range is only affected by, as you can see, translations. So here, explain how the transformation will affect the domain range of this function. So the horizontal translation so what happens is that the horizontal translation affects affects what? Affects domain. Do you see that? And vertical translation
affects range. This is important part to write here, right? And how does it affect? So what really happens is that the domain, instead of being greater than zero, now becomes greater than half, right? So domain becomes x belongs to real numbers such that x is greater than or equal to half. Is it okay? And as far as range is concerned, it becomes y belongs to real numbers where y is greater than or equal to minus 3, correct? Well, uh, as a note, I can tell you that if there was a negative sign here, then that would have resulted into reflection on the x-axis. So in that case also, range would have got affected, right? A negative sign here would affect range because it becomes not greater than or equal to, but becomes less than or equal to 3. And if I put a negative sign inside here, then the function gets reflected on the y-axis. So the range will be very much different, sorry, the domain of that function will be very different, right? Because it will be on the left side of your point, correct? So what other things could have really reflections, which are not given here, right? But I'm just making a note for you. Reflections, right? Could. affect domain and range, correct? In this problem it is not given, but if I give you a function of a different kind, and let me give you one here, so that you can answer this question, uh, and uh, let's, say, let's say this is a problem for you, right? So the question remains same, but instead I am writing it like this, I am writing as 3 minus 2 f of 2 minus 4x, okay? Now think this is your function. Think this is your function. 3 minus 2 f of 2 minus 4x, right? And let's say that is your transformed function, okay? Let's say y equals to this. Now you have to write how will the domain and range get affected, okay? So that's, this is your test problem to do, okay? I hope you understand it. So here we are involving reflections, so there will be much different answer than what I've already given, right? Okay, all the best. Thank you.